Hello, my name is Sumit Swain. Currently, I am pursuing PhD in the Department of Electronics and Instrumentation Engineering, Orissa University of Technology and Research. The presentation topic is fractional order circuit elements and system. Now, moving on to the next slide. These are my contents. First is fractional order elements, that is fractional capacitor, fractional inductor, and the fractional order circuits and systems. Then we'll move on to discussions and conclusion. First of all, introduction. Fractional order circuits and system are those which can be represented by a fractional order calculus. The fractional order calculus is a very wide area from which the integer order calculus is a small subsection. Fractional calculus is a generalization of ordinary differential equation or it is a more general <coughs> kind of fractional integration and fractional differentiation to arbitrary non-integer order. Now, moving on to fractional order elements. Generally, conventionally we had capacitors, resistors and inductors. For a resistor, the phase shift is zero, whereas in case of capacitor, the phase shift is minus 90 and in case of an inductor, the phase shift is plus 90. But if you are talking about fractional capacitor, the phase shift lies between 0 to minus 90. But in the case of a fractional inductor, the phase shift lies between 0 to plus 90. Therefore, the fractional capacitor's transfer function can be represented by Z alpha equals to 1 by Cs to the power alpha and Z beta for the inductor, fractional inductor can be represented by Z beta equals to Ls to the power beta, where alpha and beta are the values corresponding from 0 0.1 to 1.0, between 0 0.1 to 1.0. Now, moving on to the fractional capacitor. So, it is an integration of dV by dt, that is integration uh, of voltage with respect to time. And in, uh, here in fractional capacitor, this integration is fractional order integration. The symbol is of a fractional capacitor is represented in figure 1 and the magnitude and phase plot is seen in figure 2. Now, these were some of the eminent researchers and their work starting from 1997 to 2022 of fabrication based fractional capacitor. In <coughs> Here, as you could see in 2008, PMMA coated fractional capacitor was designed by K. Biswas, where she used polymer film coated electrode in a porous solution where the uh, capacitor showed a constant phase behavior from minus 10 to minus 40. Similarly, other researchers did fabrication based fractional capacitor that is wafer based fractional capacitor by casting approach. Also, Arpit Saurav, a researcher from IIT Kharagpur, did solid state fractional capacitor where the dielectric of the capacitor was epoxy gel mixed with carbon nanotubes. Then moving on to emulator based fractional capacitor. In emulator based fractional capacitor, there is, it is not a two terminal device. Here, RCRC -RC network is used in place of a fractional capacitor. This can be done by certain calculations or certain formulas which was derived to make the transfer function approximation of the fractional capacitor. Here is one of the RC impedance approximation as you can see in figure 7. The fractional capacitor can be represented in this form which uh, deals with the infinite ladder giving the order of the capacitor of 0 0.5. If we have an infinite ladder, then only we can have an infinitely constant phase element throughout all the ranges of frequency. If we have something less than infinity or a higher order or a lower order approximately, it also reflects, it will also reflect on the frequency range. Now, emulator based fractional capacitor also has a fractance device which was designed in 2013 by Dr. M. C. Tripathi, where the RC phase was taken as 8th order approximation and the passive realization has also been done. 
then moving on to emulator based fractional capacitor which is rc symmetric approximated fractional capacitor which was designed by dr adhikari in 2020 which showed the very good accordance and good results as compared to the previous ones and as you could see in figure 12 it has a very nice constant phase though it has a hazy response but the constant phase behavior is seen with a phase band of only 5% now moving on to fractional inductor in fractional inductor it is the differentiation of current with respect to time and this differentiation is fractional order derivative the fractional order derivative where this fractional order is termed as beta and in figure 13 we can see the in figure 13 we can see the symbol of the fractional inductor and in figure 14 we can see the magnitude and phase response of the fractional inductor now moving on to emulator based fractional inductor here we use general impedance converter to emulate a fractional inductor using a fractional capacitor here as you can see in the figure 15 that is a general impedance converter and the impedance value are represented in equation z equals to z1 z3 z5 divided by z2 and z4 so if we replace z2 or z4 with a fractional capacitor that is 1 by cs to the power alpha then the denominator cs to the power alpha is raised up which becomes the which uh, makes the impedance of this general impedance converter to a fractional inductor as if we replace z1 z3 and z5 with resistor and z2 with also a resistor whereas replacing z4 with a fractional capacitor so it becomes r into r into r divided by r into 1 by c s to the power alpha so s to the power c s to the power alpha is will go to the numerator that is z1 z3 z5 into c s to the power alpha which corresponds to the impedance of a fractional inductor now moving on to cmos based inductors here the fabricated in ams 0.35 nanometer cmos process and the figure shows figure 17 shows the fractional order inductor emulator circuit now moving on to fabrication based fractional inductor here the transverse electromagnetic method is used here in a copper wire is inserted in a of brass tube and the in the area is covered with a highly conducting liquid so here three vectors come across the electric vector the magnetic vector and the displacement vector which corresponds to the <coughs> fractional inductor because in this case a square root of the j omega happens by virtue of which here a fractional inductor of 0.5 five value can be approached now moving on to fractional order circuits and system first of all fractional order rlc circuit fractional order filters and fractional order oscillators comes under fractional order circuits whereas in fractional order systems the pid controller dc dc converters and bio impedance models can come okay firstly moving on to fractional order rlc circuit here when a fractional capacitor and a fractional inductor are joined together it forms a fractional l beta c alpha circuit and the response are shown in figure 22 and fractional order rlc circuit can be represented as shown in figure 23a and the <coughs> the phase is shown in figure b and the magnitude and phase response are shown in c and d moving on to fractional order filters This is a fractional order bandpass filter which was designed by Dr. M C Tripathi in 2015. Here it is seen that a resistor, a fractional capacitor, and a G I C based fractional inductor is seen. Now moving on to fractional order Kevin Hulsman Nikum Bicoil filter with two fractional capacitors. Here two fractional capacitors are used with order alpha and beta, and the response. of the peak frequency of proposed filter for different orders are shown in figure 28 and the quality factor compared with the order of the filter is shown in figure 29 now moving on to fractional order filters this uh, work is designed by me where magnitude plot of proposed filter 
is seen in figure 31 and in figure 32 the optimization using genetic algorithm is seen where the orders of the fractional capacitor and the orders of the fractional inductor is compared with the quality factor of the bandpass filter. This paper was published in 2021 in IT Journal of Research. Now moving on to the next paper, fractional order silent key high pass filter using fractional capacitors. Here active fractional order bandpass filter has been designed. Also this filter has two fractional capacitors. Accordingly, the role of rate of the filter also changes with increasing and decreasing the order of the fractional capacitor. Now moving on to fractional order filters, the design realization of fractional order bandpass filter and notch filter is seen in figure 36. Now moving on to fractional order oscillators. Here the fractional order sinusoidal oscillator was designed by Radwan.et.l where a linear fractional order system has been studied. But he only gave <coughs> the fractional order criterion for oscillation for only two element based or two capacitor based fractional order oscillator. But in 2022, I published a paper in IEEE where I showed the fractional order oscillator where the three capacitor based uh, oscillations were produced and the criterion and the uh, conditions for oscillation was also been given where in figure 37 is the circuit of the RC phase oscillator and the simulating model is seen in 37B and the output is seen in figure 37C and D. Now moving on to fractional order PID controller. Here the PID controller is designed where the integral part is uh, <coughs> gamma and the derivative part mu has been used and the equation is GS equals to KP plus KIS to the power mu plus KDS to the power minus lambda. Then moving on to fractional order DC-DC converters where the fractional order inductor has been used to produce high voltage output in DC-DC boost converter. But fractional capacitor based boost converter has were not been designed. But in 2022 I published a paper in IEEE where the fractional capacitor based boost converter has been designed and the voltage gain with respect to the duty cycle has been plotted and it can be seen that in figure 44 by changing the order of alpha and by varying the duty cycle the voltage gain of the boost converter can be increased. Figure 41 shows the circuit diagram and figure 42 shows the RC symmetric fractional capacitor which has been used in the boost converter. Now moving on to fractional order bi impedance modeling. Many fruits and vegetables can be treated their moisture content, sugar content and the ripening factor can be determined by giving a signal and realizing its output and obtaining its impedance analysis or impedance spectroscopy which is seen in figure 47 that is of an apple, orange, lemon and carrot the data of time versus the current has been seen. Now, Fractional order capacitors and inductors can be realized in both emulator and fabrication modes. These elements can be used in analog circuits, filters. Real time systems such as fruits and vegetables also show fractional order behavior. Therefore, fractional order circuits and system can be used in performance improvements and applications of electrical, electronics and instrumentation engineering. So these are all my publications and these are the references. Thank you.